Oh my God in heaven, guys. We have found the mother load. What is good everybody today we are going on a wwe action figure toy hunt and it is not just any toy hunt i might have discovered the most insane walmart stock of wwe action figures ever so let's get started all right man currently it is 5 30 a.m and i'm about to go to a sketchy walmart pray for me all right man the toy hunt we're going on today is 45 minutes away and it's at a sketchy walmart that i don't like to go to because i'm trying to find the damn monday night war elites and i'm trying to find the shipper man and i just saw that walmart apparently had or elites on half jesus miles, christ to next i saw where walmart had elites on sale for ten dollar clearance so hell yeah man we're gonna try and cash in our money in the bank briefcase today early in the morning hopefully i don't get mugged all right man here we are sun ain't even up yet so let's find out what we got I think I've been to this Walmart maybe like five or six times in my lifetime when we've done these out of town toy hunts. Nonetheless, I gotta find the damn section. That's what I'm talking about, man. Look at that. Look at that right there. Is that piss? I don't know. I don't wanna stick around to find out. Let's go find the WWE action figures, man, coming up. Okay. Damn, they got some, oh my God in heaven, Brad. What have we found? There is Scott Hall. Where is the rest of what we got? Dude, they have, they're loaded, man. Good God in heaven. Maybe you need to venture out sometimes. I mean, dude, look at this. This is loaded. They have Asuka. They have Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Brock Lesnar. They have the greatest hits. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I thought it was the greatest hits or the best of Ultimate Warrior. It's the Ultimate Edition 15, but still. Elite 97 Alexa Bliss. Not the best, but holy crap in heaven, bro. This place is loaded. How is this chilling on pegs? I mean, I guess it's not that sought after, but I know a lot of people are still searching for the Brock Lesnar. But there's Asuka. We found Scott Hall. We have, oh my God, dude. I mean, we have Elite 100 Cena, not the biggest deal. EO Sky, Chuck Taylor, Ruby Soho. I feel like Unmatched 6 is, is difficult to find. Thunder Rosa, Thunder Rosa. We have Elite 99 Matt Riddle. We have Rick Boogs. We have Trash on the on the pegs here. We got Trash on the, on the pegs. Oh my god, it's the Walmart exclusive MJF, man. That's crazy that this is chilling here. I mean, it's still refreshing to see new stuff, though. I mean, Jamie Hayter, Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho. We have Ruthless Aggression Elite Cena. We have Elite 107 Undertaker. Elite 100 Ray. We have, oh my god, dude, a top picks Undertaker. I mean, this is crazy. I feel like that's been on pegs forever. We have Core Jade. I feel like you don't see this every day. I think I think this is the first time I've seen this in person, actually. Core Jade in the house. We have Mandy Rose Elite 98. What is happening, man? We have Elite 107 again. Is that two Shotzi figures? What the hell, man? Elite 101 Kevin Owens. It's just like a, a random assortment of figures out here, man. Elite 101 Kevin Owens. We got Queen Zelina from Elite 99. We have Elite 105 Johnny. Does he have Johnny Gargano syndrome? He does not. Look at that. Clean. Love to see it. Johnny Gargano. And then we have two Shotzi's. That's crazy, man. Shotzi Blackheart in the... Or I guess Shotzi. No Blackheart, but Elite 95 still on pegs. And arguably one of the best figures in the set. Shawn Michaels superstars, Mankind superstars, Ted DiBiase, Papa Shango. So a lot of good, you know, superstars figures. Never seen this battle pack in person. We have Batista with the Undertaker World Heavyweight Championship. Never seen this battle pack in person. We got Biggie and Bobby Lashley. And maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe you're like, this guy's a freaking moron. Oh, dude, I thought that was the chase. You have Carmelo Hayes. You have Ricochet Elite 101 and Ricky Steamboat, man. Holy crap. I, I, just, I guess it's just refreshing to see new figures on the pegs compared to my locations, man. Elite 98 Orton. We have King Woods in the white gear. We got Bobby Roode as I drop shish on the floor. I don't care what you say, man. This place is absolutely loaded. And they have Scott Hall. Now, I haven't checked to see if they have the shipper yet, but if they have the shipper, this is the greatest. And in the back, man, they do have Bobby Roode here, but again, it's just about finding new figures in the wild, man. That's crazy. I'm going to clean up the aisle, and then I'm going to try and find the shipper, I guess. Oh, my God in heaven, guys. We have found the mother load. All right, man, here it is, the WrestleMania 40 shipper. You got the top right there. I see a lot of people take this. Um, don't know if I'm going to be doing that, but here they are, man. Monday Night Wars Elites. 
They have Stone Cold Steve Austin. They have the full wave. So, looks like we will be cashing in today. Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, Undertaker. They have every single one. I do feel weird out in the middle of the aisle. I feel completely naked in the open, but is that the last Scott Hall? Okay, so I found the last Scott Hall in the aisle, so that's good. But they have Top Picks Roman. They have Top Picks Seth. It's not the wave with Cody and Logan, but it does have John Cena and Dusty Seth. Um, we have 105 Dom, Grayson Waller. We have Corey Jade. We have Scott Steiner. Braun. Braun. Okay, so they have top picks, Elite 105, a ton of Scott Steiners. Is there a, oh my God, in heaven, Chase Carmelo Hayes. Let's go. That is a, that's a, no, we're taking that one. That Dom, Johnny, Johnny Gargano Syndrome, shaking my damn head. A lot of, a lot of Elite 105, man. Carmelo, another Chase Carmelo. Scott Steiner, Dom, Johnny Gargano. No Johnny Gargano Syndrome. Be sure to check the Johnny Gargano Syndrome, man. Another Steiner and another Dom. Besides these figures up here in the Monday Night Wars Elites, they do have the WrestleMania 40 wave, and it looks like they have the full wave over and over again. So, what the hell is that back there? What are in these boxes back here? Hold up just a second here. What is this back here? Is this just like display? Okay, it's just cardboard. Okay, well... I'm about to have to cut another box open. Nah. But they do have the full WrestleMania 40 Elites. And then they have Elite 105 Johnny again. No Johnny Gargano syndrome. I don't think I would really need anything out there. They have a ton of Johnny Gargano. A ton of Elite 105. Like, Jesus Christ. We do have Logan Paul Battle Pack with Roman Reigns. We have The Rock and Mankind. I like that battle pack. I have a lot of that battle pack. Oh, the, the Titan Street Prophets. Which is crazy because they actually revealed these battle packs at WrestleMania last year. And now we're about to go to wrestlemania again so i guess these took a year to get out after seeing them on display at wrestlemania but they have triple h and austin another logan and roman and okay they have <laughs> ruthless aggression kevin nash back there chilling what else is back here we have we have chainsaw charlie back there just just hiding fake dude this place is absolutely loaded this is the most loaded store i've ever seen in my entire life the most loaded Walmart of all time. Never seen something like it, man. I guess I just picked the right... Oh, my God in heaven, man. A Ronda Rousey Elite 97 and more Elite 101 Kevin Owens. Just chilling back here. Is there more back here? I bet there's more behind these Street Profits. Hold up. So you got the Street Profits. Then you look behind. Yep, there it is. More figures back here, man. Good God in heaven. It's just absurd. No Cody's in sight. No Logan Paul Elites. But we do have the Battle Pack. And we do have Elites and stuff like that, man. I am truly blown away here today by what we have found. I mean, I am just stunned completely. Shocked to my core. Unreal. All right, man, time to make some decisions, make some cuts. Why the hell are they $24, though? That doesn't make me happy. That's kind of upsetting. I wish they could. There's the piss stain again. I wish that they could price match, you know? I know they can price match somewhat, but I wish that they could do it where, you know, if if you have a Walmart location that's off location that is clearancing stuff for 10 bucks, why can't I get it for 10 bucks? Because it would be... I would literally buy off the store. If everything, if all these elites were $10, it would be, I'd be spending like 400 bucks there. I'd buy 40 elites right now. But, oh, there's an elite 107 taker. It's very early in the morning. I don't think anybody would go snag the figures, but probably need to go get a buggy and go ahead and stock up on the figures I'm going to buy because I didn't bring a buggy. So, I got to go get a buggy. But, um, yeah, we can play the set, man. Let's go. All right, I got to grab what I'm going to grab, and then we'll see what the hell's going on. Uh oh, so we're back home after our toy hunt. Got some stuff to show off as well as what's in these bags. Of course, man, I was blown away. I was blown away about what we found. I really could not believe my eyes, Brad, but we found the Monday Night War Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, actually, you know how I was talking about the Scott Hall? There was only one copy of Stone Cold Steve Austin. I've actually seen a lot of people missing Stone Cold Steve Austin and Scott Hall. They'll find the shipper, and it won't have Stone Cold or Scott Hall. Thank God we found both. We did track down Steve Austin and Scott Hall. Definitely probably going to have to do some surgery on this guy. I know a lot of people are, you know, crapping on this figure and whatnot, but I'm just I'm just so glad we found these, man. I've been on the hunt for a while, and I finally have my hands on these, and now we are going to review this full set this week. So got ourselves our Hollywood Hulk Hogan right here. Every time I see this, man, it just gives me Family Feud vibes, man. That little logo right there with the name, I don't know if they're inspired by that, but that is that is very Family Feud looking. 
Steve Hartley looking. With. Here's Hulk Hogan, kind of a plain Jane. You know, he's in the jet black or, you know, the charcoal gray. Very, you know, not, not the most exciting figure, but I'm really happy to have this. I think the head sculpt looks good, and I'm excited to have it, man. Just glad to finally track these figures down. And, of course, the last figure in the set. And when we review this set, we're going to rank this set. You guys know when I do the Build-A-Figure sets and we review a full set, I always rank the set. We're definitely going to be ranking this set from worst to best. I already have my pick on what I think going in. We'll have to see about it, but we finally found these, but that is not all. We also found the Chase Carmelo Hayes, man. I have been looking for this figure for so daggum long, and we finally found it in the red gear. And this is back-to-back -to -back toy hunts at finding a Chase Elite figure in the wild. And I actually had two of them. I almost grabbed both, but I left it for somebody else. Hopefully, somebody will uh, get some enjoyment out of that Chase, man. So we'll have to see about that, of course. I guess we'll never see about that unless somebody watches this video and finds that Chase and then they cash in their money in the bank briefcase. But finally able to get the Carmelo Hayes figure in the red. Look at that right there, man. We got both. We got Elite 105 Chase and Elite 106 Chase. You just love to see that. So we do have Carmelo Hayes. And the last thing we found is this Logan Paul and Roman Reigns battle pack. Now, the reason I grabbed this is because I actually have some ideas on surgery for a Logan Paul sort of promo gear that I want to do and try. And I might end up selling that figure on our next big whatnot stream next month. And I'm trying to figure that out. But I did grab this for that reason. I, I wanted to grab this just so I can make that, that little custom Logan Paul figure because I think it's going to look sick. And I think it'll be really cool. But we did grab the Championship Showdown pack. Now, another thing is this weekend, I am going to Toy Lanta. If you guys are going to be in Atlanta for Toy Lanta, man, it's this massive toy show. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Look out for me. I will be there toy hunting, making some videos, of course. But, man, what a, what a successful toy hunt, man. I cannot believe that we actually found these figures. Now, another thing is these actually rung up for 1997 or 1980-something, and it just said WWE toy. But the battle pack was the was the pack that was 2397. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. I really, now that I'm looking at these and the Superstars figures, I kind of low-key wish I grabbed Shawn Michaels and Mankind and Ted DiBiase because those figures are the ones that I'm kind of, you know how I always talk about not being able to find the, the certain figures. Those are some of the certain figures that I'm missing, so I probably should have grabbed them, but we did grab these epic toy hunt, I think, and I also got this mail haul here from Matt Cardona. I was on his whatnot stream. I just kind of like tuned in. I saw it was live when I was on my page, and so I clicked on there, and he was putting this up for bid, and I ended up grabbing it for like 80-something bucks or something like that, so adding another chase here, one of 3,000 unmatched Sean Spears. I figured that was great. I, I love this, man. This attire is one of the best attires AEW and Jazzverse has done. So, yeah, I'm excited to add this, man. That doesn't even look close to the gear. What the hell is that? Look at that. That's like royal blue. This is like teal. I don't know what happened there, but I'm going to hang this on the wall. So now I have Series 1 done. I'm missing MJF. I have Series 3 done. I have Series 4 done. And now this will complete Series 5 with Brian Danielson over there. So we did get our Sean Spears. And then another figure that I meant to show up on our toy hunt the other day. And again, my damn ADHD, man. We have the re-release or the updated greatest of Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan figure. I don't know if I'm going to review this because it's just a skin tone change. But they did do some cool stuff here and I'm excited to have this figure. I'm definitely I'm definitely going to unbox it. I don't know if I'm going to do it in a video or, or something like that. But definitely going to be putting it up there with the Hulk Hogan shelf. But I think that pretty much wraps up our toy hunt, man. I really need to clean this shish up. Look at this area back here. Backstage area is completely full. Can't film nothing. Nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap up the toy hunt. Thank you guys so very much for watching, man. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Leave a like on the video if you will. Run the like count up as much as we possibly can. I greatly appreciate it, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. I appreciate each and every single one of you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your longtime support. It means the world to me. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyNameToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.